different on, on their individual slides, but do we have any questions about the general dynamics of the EHL market? One, one thing to, to also um, underscore is on the right-hand uh, graphic, the, these are, of course, the EHL switch dynamics. We don't see hardly any um, FROC switch losses, right? I mean, there's only just a couple. Granted, if there's an intra-quarter switch loss um, where the patient switches back to what he was on before FROC, that's not going to be captured because it's not fully, you know, it's not technically a quarter out switch. I don't think there's been that many of them, but quarter in, quarter out, we're not seeing hardly any SROC switch waves. In other words, the retention level, we can call it that, retention level is, is extraordinarily high. Um, of course, some of this is because those that are switched to SROC are being switched within the Team Libra phase, of course, whereas those that are switching away, I would I would dare say that most of those EHL switchaways that are not going to SROC, that are going to Team Libra, um, I mean, those, these are a lot of patients that were switched years and years ago. These were earlier adopters of a lot of Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, good point. Yeah, thanks. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, Michelle. And um, that actually, uh, we'll be get, I'll be talking about that quite a bit more on the Lofta side, but first, Looking at SBROC, on the left, we have our patients that uh, have switched to SBROC by brand, and on the right, we have the total source of business. And what we did see in Q4 is that dip in the locked up patients as a percentage of SBROC switches. They, um, we go from 22, 20%, 26% down to 10%, which actually does account for a lot of the dip in switches as we're talking about or potential switches as ryan mentioned patients were switching over to heme libra now that they had the chance um i actually have a good illustration of that in a quote on the next slide um, but what i do want to point out is what we have here are quite a few on-demand patients we have the shl patients that didn't want to switch to locked up because they didn't necessarily see much of a benefit going from infusing once a day to once every other day, or they're on-demand patients that are transitioning to SBROC specifically because it shortens hospitals for days or they only need one or two treatments. So what we have from the hematologist here is it's become even e cheaper to treat bleeds or undertake surgeries with SBROC than with an EHL. If a surgery is being done here, I prefer to use an EHL because it keeps patients safe and hospital stays short. If it's being done at another hospital, I might use Advair and Novo 8 because surgeons are familiar with them. Um, that is one area that SBROC can potentially gain and those are at the smaller centers where some surgeries might be done. Actually, um, yeah, we, have a, we did probe into benefits and uh, why just taking about the departure because i remember you asked in the q3 walkthrough why are they still using benefits and a lot of the same reason is why they're still using advate or novo at the smaller centers hematologists don't trust surgeons very much to follow their protocols um, so we're, what they are hoping however is that as there's increased familiarity with sbroc they'll be able to slowly per, uh, send that through to the smaller centers as well yeah, interesting. Thank, thanks a lot. Yeah, that's really um, that's really good in, insight actually for us. You know, that 15, 15 out of forty were on demand patients, and I can see Dorian smiling and smiling because when we're doing our forecasting and things like that, and vol volumes per patient, that it, that makes a dramatic difference. It's not yeah. it's not a bad thing. We want the on demand patients as well, but it it does completely skew our um, Volume forecasts. Yes. Yeah. Well. <laughs> um, switching over to the infamous Alocta that we touched on uh, quite a bit. Again, what we're seeing is the Alocta patient switch profile, and even though Alocta has been consistently getting, uh, especially pediatric patients that are switching over to SHLs its losses have been accelerating throughout 2021. 
And for the first time since escrow, essentially since escrow's first full quarter on the market,